everybody, Shadow Phoenix here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Planet Coaster and a brand new park that I want to introduce to you guys that I have been working on over the last couple of weeks, probably about three or four weeks now on my Twitch channel. Uh, some of you guys who have been watching my Twitch channel already have seen a lot of this. Uh, but for those of you who don't watch me live on there and have been looking forward to my next project, well, here it is. My 2019, or I should say one of my 2019 projects, uh, it, this is going to be Silverwood Park. Uh, not to be confused with the actual Silverwood Park. Uh, to be honest, I kind of forgot that there was a Silverwood Park when I was naming this. Uh, the name itself is an allegation of two different parks that this park is kind of being the, uh, loosely based upon, um, and that is Silver Dollar City and Dollywood. So you put Silver Dollar City together, so take the silver from that, the wood from Dollywood, and you get Silverwood. And, of course, after I was like, oh yes, that's a brilliant name, like a couple days after I come up with the name, I was thinking, oh, you know what, there's already a Silverwood. So a lot of people are getting this kind of mixed up. They'll come in and like, oh, you're doing a recreation of Silverwood. I'm like, no, I'm doing my own thing. But uh, anyway, so that's kind of the intro for this and kind of what it's going to be. So it's just like SDC and Dollywood. It's going to have a very rustic, mountainous kind of theming to it. Uh, what I like to call hillbilly theming. It's okay. I can say that. I'm from Kentucky. It's perfectly fine. So... Um, yeah, so here we are at the ticket booth. This is the first thing you see when you come out of the parking lot. Uh, very, uh, I kind of got the idea for these ticket booths from uh, the Dollywood ticket booths. Uh, very, again, loosely based upon those. And this is basically, you'll come out of the parking lot. If you need to purchase your tickets, you can definitely do so here at our little ticket booth. So I'll zoom in on here and show kind of how I, I made these. Made out of some windows and stuff and some abstract shapes, a little bit of planks, other things like that. Uh, so these turn out really, really well. Uh, I love the coloring and everything to it as well. And the only thing I don't like, and I, I forgot to change the colors on the little windows up top, but uh, I've got the little post here with the barrels of flowers in them, uh, just for a little bit of accenting. Yeah, so if you already, or if you're like me and you already have your tickets because you bought them online, of course there will also be some will call things as well. Um, I'll get, uh, all this is going to be, uh, try to make it as realistic as I possibly can. Uh, so the next thing you're going to be seeing as soon as we kind of travel into the park here, and hopefully my FPS doesn't drop as I'm showing this off, I, I can see it kind of taking a little bit of a dip, so hopefully it won't be too bad. I have recorded this in 4K, but my GTX uh, 1070 can't seem to keep up with it. Um, it is maxing out right now at the moment, as I can see. So we're probably going to drop a few frames, and I do apologize about that. I'm trying to save up for a brand new video card. Uh, that way I can actually record in better quality. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely overloading. I can totally see that right now. All right, so let's kind of jump into here. Maybe maybe once we get back into the actual park, it won't be so bad. Uh, but the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come underneath of this highway right here. So that's what this is. This bridge goes underneath of the highway, uh, very much like Lake Compounds or Kennywood. And you will go through here. And then, of course, once you come out of the tunnel, I'm going to just kind of speed up through here. And yes, I do realize that the walk from the tickets all the way back through here is going to be a bit of a walk, but it's not too bad. I've taken a look at some other parks. I think, what is it, um, Hershey Park has a long walk from the parking lot over here. I've heard there's a few others as well. Um, Lake Compounds is kind of a bit of a walk, but you're going to come across this, uh, this covered bridge. Uh, oh, there goes the River Rapids, which goes outside of the park, actually. And then it goes underneath there. We'll get a great look at that right here in just a second. I've got my video card overclocked and I'm seeing artifacting as well. Ugh. Man, I really, 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 really need a new video card. I'm hoping to try to get an RTX 2070 or an RTX 2080. I mean, I'd love to have a 2080 Ti, but, you know, $1,400 for that is a bit of a jump. Uh, so one thing we have over here that's not finished yet is going to be our gristle mill or, you know, the water wheel. Uh, the 
River Rapids will drop out of that. Um, I actually kind of had the basic shape and all that done today, and then the game crashed, so I wasn't able to get that finished. And then, of course, we see some of the, the River Rapids over that way. I also had a bunch of the trees and stuff placed over there, too, to, to make this really kind of kind of stand out, at least for the recording. Again, I lost all of that, so... Alright, and then once you cross over this bridge over top of the river rapids, oh, here comes one of the cars now. So let's see, it drops out of that. It's going to drop out of the, the water mill there. And then it's going to go underneath the bridge. Over through there. And back around where it goes back into the station. A lot of that is going to be like. Um, very well touched up and stuff with a lot of brushy, like brush and trees and foliage and stuff back in there. So it'll look really good. But let's move on in to the actual entrance of the park. So this is where you would turn in your tickets and actually enter the park. So here we have this beautiful sign. What I was wanting to do was something kind of like how Silver Dollar City has the log with its name in it. Uh, but unfortunately the logs that we have in the game are like 8 meters long and that's just a bit too long to fit this right here so there was no way I could do it but I come up with this idea here and I really like it so there we have the sign at the top of the 2019 season it's going to be one of my 2019 parks there are going to be a couple of different parks that we're going to be working on for this year uh, but this one is probably going to be the main one uh, we also have Kings Falls we'll be working on Vista View is going to be um, on my YouTube live streams every not every Sunday but most Sundays so we'll step on in here we have oh yeah the train the train is going to go over top of that as well so you can see that's where the station is kind of going to be back in there and then to go across there and back in there all right so let's step on in to the park itself now, for the inside of the park, I use the Spooky Path right here, and it, it looks fantastic. Uh, I tweeted this out the other day and got some huge compliments from S. Dan Wolf. I'm actually kind of hoping to get a few people, a few others involved in this park to work with me. People who are, are known for doing other kinds of parks and things like this. Um, JLW Games, uh, JLW works at Silver Dollar City, so he... Uh, would be perfect to try to get in here. I've already talked to him. Uh, he would he's interested in maybe building something like a mystery mine kind of thing. So um, The rest of them I haven't actually talked to but I'm going to bring it up to a couple of them I'm sure if I ask, you know, if fisherman's not too busy, maybe fisherman can come in and kind of do a, a Dark ride for us. Maybe something like flooded mine or maybe something like fire and hope or um, What's the one? Blazing Fury at Dollywood He may come in and maybe do something like that some kind of like really cool dark ride because his dark rides are fantastic And I, I really love the stuff that fisherman does a couple other ones of course, you know is S Dan Wolf I'd love to get S Dan to come in here S Dan Wolf really knows how to theme with the Dollywood type of stuff uh, So he was a be a great fit in here. So S Dan Wolf if you're actually watching um, Yeah, I, I would love to have you maybe come into the park and, and build something in this uh, later on when we get a few things done um, and then maybe some others possibly Dan Thorpe um, he does awesome like theming and stuff for flat rides and stuff that kind of fit this kind of style so and then you know who knows maybe some other people might want to get kind of in on this and just maybe build a little something. I'm not talking about like everybody kind of doing the whole park all together. I'm just kind of like like guest builders kind of would, would be great to have. Um, so yeah, this is me inviting all of you guys in case you're actually watching the video. Uh, if you're interested, then yeah, get up with me and we'll see what we can do. Just send me a DM on you know Twitter or something. All right, so anyway, back to the park itself. Uh, here we have um, my kind of rustic gazebo, which, you know, is, um, I'll be honest, the gazebo itself was actually a pre-made thing that I found on the Steam Workshop, but I have ended up changing almost every single thing about it, so there's really not much left of the original. 
So it kind of ended up becoming my own thing. Oh, it's really late here when I'm recording, so I'm yawning as typical. Um, yeah, but the roof is kind of was done by somebody else and was part of that, but I ended up having to shorten the roof because it was just too tall. So we shortened the roof and then I changed everything else about it on the inside. So it just kind of became my own gazebo in its own way. Uh, all right, and then of course I made these little planters over here because the plaza itself is quite large but I wanted to kind of break it up with a lot of like trees and stuff. I've been watching a lot of like videos and been looking at a lot of pictures of Silver Dollar City and Dollywood and stuff and they both have like little trails that branch off here and there. Their paths are not like big plazas or, or big paths or big you know like width paths. They are actually quite small, and I'm going to try to kind of capture that feeling in this park as well. Um, obviously, you can't tell because when we're looking down that way, it's there's nothing finished down there. But, you know, hopefully I'm doing a good job so far in just the beginning area here in our plaza. Let's kind of go over a couple of the buildings here. Uh, so we'll head over to this building right over here. Uh, so this is kind of a bank-looking type building, or maybe a cylinder type thing. Um, I'm actually going to do this. This is going to be the guest services building and also the guest lockers. Uh, so themed after a bank, uh, it will have like little safety deposit boxes like things in there, which are actually the lockers that guests can rent. Uh, we'll probably also do some stroller rentals and some other things kind of out of this. Uh, the other side, I'm actually not going to really show much on this building because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to like tear this building down. I just, I was not happy with it. Um, it still needs a custom roof and stuff on that one little thing there. And I'm just not happy with it. So I'm probably going to tear this building down. So no need to pay attention to that. Let's head over onto this. This is going to be our park gift shop, uh, or at least maybe one of them. Uh, as you can see, it's gifts and stuff. That name is will, it's a tentative name. It will change. Uh, I'm also going to add some custom roofs onto this building as well, onto these towers. Um, those tower roofs right there, the factory, or the factory, <laughs> the uh, already in-game roofs just aren't what I'm looking for for this, so I'm going to change those out to be, you know, maybe not as towery, really. Um, I did my own custom kind of bay windows here on each side. Got some lighting and some foliage work and some other stuff kind of going on down through here. Uh, I put the uh, the vines and stuff kind of covering the building to kind of make it, you know, to give it that rustic mountain kind of look. And I, I really like it. I, I love the, uh, the wagon wheels and the tin. It kind of makes it look like this building was just made out of whatever they had around them at the time. And that's kind of the, the whole thing of the park. Uh, right here is the park's chairlift. You can see I'm kind of uh, testing as going up to the other one. The one at the top is going to change slightly, um, but the one down here at the bottom, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. So our guests would technically, you would get your tickets here and then get in line and then you, you know, if you don't want to walk around the park and walk around to the back of the park and go up to the um, trails and stuff that go to the top up there you can take the chairlift there's going to be an entire area of the park that's going to be up on that area up there uh, there's going to be like a flat spot up there or mostly flat with uh, maybe a coaster or you know some flat rides and stuff, other things up there uh, but it's also going to be lots of the park is going to be down here as well so that's where this general direction is going to be going so they will walk this direction and kind of move around and there was, there'll be rides and stuff along the path but it will kind of wind its way around and end up at the top up there but for those guests who just don't want to do that or just you know maybe you're already up there and you're just ready to leave and you don't want to walk back down you can take the chair lifts and that's what they're there for um here we have a couple buildings that are modeled after summit dollywood um this is going to be an ice cream area and probably a candy shop uh, or mostly maybe just one big ice cream shop or something of that nature. That's kind of the general idea here. I've still got to do a little bit of work on, I forgot to uh, color our little 
Um, I don't even know what we'd call that, but you know, like the edge there for the, the curving. We'll call it curving. So, planters. Yeah, planter. Planter curving. And then this is another building that is slightly modeled after something from Dollywood as well. Uh, and this is going to be probably a restaurant, I think. Uh, we're going to come around on this side, and we've got lots more stuff to kind of build around this way, as well as adding our first rides and stuff back in here as well. Um, the train station is going to be up in that general area. And, yeah, I, I really think this, this whole park is going to be really well done once I'm finished with it. This is the kind of park that I love to do. This is the kind of parks that I used to do a lot of in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but I never finished. Um, much like many of my projects in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I would start things, but I would never finish them. But uh, I have been thinking on this park for about, I'm going to say over a year now. This park has been in my head wanting to do it. Uh, now that Crystal Gardens is pretty much up and available for download, uh, at least phase one anyway, I thought, you know, let's start off the year and let's get a brand new park going. And this is going to be one of them. But I've got other ideas too and I want to kind of branch out into some of those too. So you'll be seeing more than just this park from me during the 2019 year. Uh, I've got other plans as well. So, all right, that's going to be kind of everything I have to show you guys right now at the moment. Uh, I'm going to continue working on it. Um, we're going to be doing maybe, a, I want to do some time-lapse videos, but I think it's going to be a little hard to do the way that this game is kind of recording right now. Because the 4K video, is it, it looks fantastic. The game in 4K looks fantastic. So much better than what it does. Um, if I try, where I just got my new 4K monitor, if I actually try to play this in 1080p, or even 1440, it, it doesn't look near as good. And now that I've, I've got the, I mean, this is the lowest settings with like medium textures. Um, it, it looks fantastic, I think. I mean, it really, really does. So, and the game itself, you guys can't see it because it's OBS that is doing it. OBS is the problem. But the game itself is, running quite well at about 60 frames, anywhere between 50 and 60 frames a second. And uh, that's even if I turn the settings up on high, then I still get around 45 to 60 frames a second. Um, it's just OBS is, is really lagging out when I'm trying to do recording or streaming. And that's the problem. And that's where that new video card is gonna come in. So that's where I could really use some help. You know, these video cards are not cheap. So donations, Patreon, uh, buying stuff through my affiliate links, all that stuff helps out. Um, Twitch subscriptions, Twitch bits, all of that stuff is going to be helping me. And uh, eventually I will try to save up and, and get... I think I'm going to try to go for an RTX 2080. Uh, again, I'd love to have the 2080 Ti because that would be perfect. But $1,500 for a video card? That's just, it's too much. It really, really, really is just too much for a video card. But I'm hoping to kind of, you know, get something that will work a little better. Uh, I don't need the ray tracing, but the RTX cards are better than the ones that are, you know, the GTX cards right now. Um, and if you're gonna spend $1,200 on a GTX 1080 Ti, then you might as well just get, you know, the RTX 2080. They're almost the same price. Uh, yeah, so, all right, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of little quick view here and quick look around at what I've got so far done at the park. Uh, it is going to be probably another couple of weeks before I get some more footage of this done. Uh, and then hopefully maybe by that time we'll have our first ride in the park that you guys will be able to see. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So from Shadow Phoenix here and everybody here at Silverwood Park. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you appreciate this, all the work and stuff I've been putting into this over the last four weeks. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please comment. Let me know what your thoughts and stuff about my new park are. Uh, whether you like it, hate it, what you don't like about it. Uh, if you don't like me, you know, let me know those. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here guys. Thanks so much for watching. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And good night. See you later.
What's up everybody? Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and click on the bell to stay on top of all my new videos and live streaming events here on YouTube. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the names you see on the right for their support through donations, Patreon, and through Twitch subs. If you would like to join their ranks and you are able, you can do so by clicking on any of those links in the video description down below. No worries though, if you don't like giving away money like that, you can still support the channel by purchasing games or anything through Green Man Gaming, through Humble Bundle, or through Amazon by clicking on my links and making your purchase. A little bit of that goes towards me to support the channel. If you still can't get enough of me, you can always check me out live on twitch.tv and stay up to date with me on Twitter as well. Now that's gonna be it, but I can't say thank you enough for all your support here on the channel. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later.